Hello, guys. How are you doing? Welcome to Earstar Technical Channel. This video will show you how to connect the PBX and the TG gateway remotely via FQDN. For example, your gateway is in branch Office A, and the PBX is in Office B, and you want to receive the calls from the Office A's gateway. And after watching this video, you are available to make outbound calls by PBX extensions through the same card in ESDAR Gateway, and can receive inbound calls from the Gateway to PBX extensions. For today's outline, you can refer to this picture. OK, let's jump in. Here's our main configuration steps. First, establish the trunk between the two devices via account trunk and reject trunk. Two, Create outbound route in PBX and IP2 mobile in TG Gateway. 3. Create inbound route in PBX and mobile to IP in TG Gateway. And now we start from part 1. Build SIP trunk between PBX and the TG Gateway. Look at this PBX web interface. To enable this remote connection, you need to make sure you have subscribed the license for the FQDN. OK, let's go to extension and the trunk. Click Add. Write the trunk name. Choose the trunk type as account trunk. And then click and save the setting. Apply. And the most importantly, make sure the trunk has the permission of remote access. If not, then you cannot use the trunk remotely. Now look at the gateway web. Go to gateway. Find the VOIP trunk. Click add. Select the trunk type as trunk. Set a name for this trunk. Write the IP and the domain as the FQDM domain. Fill in the registration information as the one in PBX. Click Save and Apply. Now wait for a few seconds to see if the trunk is built in both PBX and the Gateway. Now let's jump into Part 2. Create outbound route in PBX and IP2 mobile in Gateway. In this part, we have two scenarios. The first is to make outgoing calls through all the same calls. The second is to make outgoing calls through one specific card. Now let's move into the first scenario in outbound route. Allow all the extensions to make outgoing calls through all same cards. Go to Call Control Outbound Route. Click Add Set a Route Name. Use the default dial pattern X dot. Select the account trunk we set before. Select all the extensions. Click and save the settings. Now go to the Gateway Web. Go to Mobile Group. Set the name and select all the available trunks. Now go to IP2 Mobile, set the name, select the call source as the zip trunk we set before, the call destination as the mobile group, click and save. Now all the extensions on the PBX can make outgoing calls through the gateway. Now let's move to the second scenario in outbound route. Allow the extensions to make a call through the specific calls. We don't have to change the settings in PBX, just add a new route in the gateway. Set the simple to no, set the root name, and set the DID number you want. First, we set one dot here 
and uh, choose the call destination as trunk 1. Now, when your extension style the phone number start with 1, they will use call 1 in the gateway. Part 3. Create the inbound route in PBX and the gateway. After configuring this part, you can receive calls from the SIM card. Now, let's jump into the PBX web. Select the call control, inbound route. Click add, set the route name, and uh, choose the truck. Select the DID matching mode as DID pattern. Set the number in the DID. The number is used to match incoming calls from the gateway. For example, we set 888 here, and uh, choose the destination as extension 6666. Also, you can set inbound call destination as a Q or AVR. Let's add a new one. Set the pattern as 9999 here. Select the trunk and set the destination. Now let's move into TG Gateway Web. Go to Mobile to IP. Click Add. Set the root name. Select the call source as trunk 1, the call destination as 6 trunk. Set the hotline as 8888. Also add a new one. Set the root name. Select the call source as trunk 2, the call destination as 6 trunk. Set the hotline as 9999. After the inbound setting above, when incoming calls the card 1, the call will go to extension. When incoming calls the SIM card 2, the call will go to AVR. Alright guys, thanks a lot for your patience and time. If you want to watch more detailed guide about the ESTAR products, please visit our website. See you guys!